Hello, friends. Welcome back to another week of episodes. Secret Sauce Finale. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And this is just a wrap up video to show you guys exactly what we have done and the results of our mission. How did it all go? How did it all go? It went down fabulous. Everyone's feedback was very, very positive and our restaurant partners really, really enjoyed it. And we raised a ton of funds. And on top of that, we actually as a team had a lot of fun doing this whole series. So it's something that I was, I really enjoyed it. For the people that missed out on this beautiful series, educational entertainment, this is an eight-part series where we get to interview Vancouver's top restaurants about their secrets to success, their struggles and their stories, and really just having a deep dive in behind the scenes of their rise to fame. And during this whole 10, 15 minute episodes, you're gonna be able to see all those. And at the same time, you're gonna learn something. All the ad dollars that we have generated went to Feeding America and also our local Vancouver Food Bank. So in total, we have generated more than 17,000 meals, guys. Our initial goal was 10,000 meals. And at that time, it felt like a really, really big, ambitious, hairy goal that we had. But at the end of the day, why don't we just shoot for the moon and see where we are gonna land? But we didn't realize the amount of support, the amounts of views and the amount of just generosity that people have for this industry and also for fighting food insecurity is just so overwhelming and which is the reason why we were able to raise more than 17,000 meals and just donated them all out so super super proud of the team without them we can't achieve this and also the viewers like yourself for helping us achieve this mission now without me sharing too much with you I want to show you guys some of the behind the scenes let's go right into it boom Okay, what just happened? Finally, we have finished shooting our prequel for The Secret Sauce. And this prequel is basically just asking heavy hitters and people that are movers and shakers in Vancouver, journalists, PR agencies, about what their view is on the restaurant industry. So then that way we can really tie this whole series together properly. And we finally did it. Like, it was, a, it was just a thought that we had uh, just a week and a half ago. I was working on this for more than up until 12 last night, trying to figure out the script and everything. And at the end, I decided to scrap the whole script. Yeah, it's just not that great. I think it's like a seven out of 10. It's not like an eight or nine out of 10, which I think would do the whole series a disservice if we were to go ahead with it. Would you not agree, Josh? He does not agree. He's, he's like, why How dare are you, you changing the script? Why are you deviating? Why don't you remember your lines? I would have preferred if we had these thoughts, you know, at least like half a week ago or something. You know, I always say that too. Preferred and reality is two different things. Guys, just check out your Instagram. Yeah, so that's a wrap. I'm super excited to actually put everything together and show you guys the secret sauce. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Boom. Are you looking at the script? Yeah. Gotta study that to make sure that I deliver the best to you, Jason. Otherwise, you're gonna yell at me. You're like, hey, Wilson, follow yeah. the script. Yeah, like, why didn't you read the script before? God. No, I did. I, I already did. I already did. Yeah. I did, I did, I did. I'm just like rehearsing again, just Good. so then that way I don't disappoint Mr. Jason behind the camera. And everyone, the whole <laughs> community. Oh, this is Alex. This is Richard. Hey, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, thank you. Thanks for doing this. Yes. We'll do our thing first. All right, we should go in the thing and then. Yeah, go in the alleyway. Yeah. I thought we were walking out together. You want to walk, walk harder? Into the. Into the depths. Okay. Here. Right here? Okay, so what are we doing? I don't know, what are we doing here? <laughs> Stupid chase. <laughs> what are we doing here today? And 
downtown? Uh, we are doing our first episode of Secret Sauce, guys. Super excited because uh, I've always wanted to do something a little bit more creative, something that is less static, something that is less boring, something that is more entertaining. And today we're doing something like this. And um, yeah, it's been works in what? We actually thought about this. Two weeks. Two weeks, two weeks, and now we're shooting already, so it's super not bad, exciting. Not, not bad. bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Um, because I always get complaints about uh, from Jason. Jason's like, "Oh, you're so boring. You only like share all these like yeah, tips and God. stuff." Um, so now we're doing something a little bit more entertaining. Um, today we are interviewing my uh, childhood friend Richard. Uh, super exciting because he has one of the best coffee shops in downtown Vancouver, and as is you can see. This is alleyway? the heart of downtown Vancouver. He is one of the best poke shops in Vancouver. Uh, and yeah, I'm super excited to dive into his journey and to share with you guys the secret sauce of how he conducts his business. You know, a lot of times when we do shoots, it's always in the office. Um, it's kind of boring, honestly. It's like we're always sitting in front of a, um, a whiteboard and we're always just drawing pictures, we're always in front of the computer. But to be outside, to be out in the city, to visit my friends, to do something so engaging and uh, so entertaining, it's, it, it's, I think it, it would bring us to a new level. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'm super excited to do this with Jason, the guy behind the camera. Cool. Let's you, go. You wanna do the cool thing? The cool transition? Huh? Huh? See ya. Done the first interview with Richard. I did. It's interesting, actually, our first interview segment, and I thought it would be a little bit different than what it is uh, because, yeah, I never really expected how that would go and in the interaction. But it's good that Richard is super, super easygoing, and that he is like very, very, what's that called? He's very, very genuine and he's, he's okay he's not camera shy I think that's really really important because a lot of my friends and a lot of the people out there they're camera shy but Richard isn't camera shy which makes the whole shooting process a lot easier um, and he's willing to share a lot of information which is why I, uh, I chose him as, as one of my first uh, interviewees and uh, subject our test rabbit pretty much um, yeah it's gonna be quite interesting actually and I'm, so, I'm starting to actually feel that nervousness actually for the mm. first shot and um, I think we're slowly kind of getting warmed up a little less kind of rigid uh, a little bit more uh, what's that called um, comfortable with, with, with uh, shooting off-site off the office something a little bit different yeah mm. and then you were cutting some fish yes I was cutting my own poke bowl and that big piece of fish. I don't want to damage the fish because it's like really expensive uh, and at the same time I'm like should I even ask whether I can shoot or not yeah, yeah. and cut it. Um, so it's it's good and they're so generous to let me actually cut the fish which is really exciting. I Anyways, think you need it. I gotta go. Yeah. So, how'd you think of Dude, everything? that was amazing. That was really, really cool. Uh, we just finished shooting with Richard at the Poke Guy, and uh, yeah, it was really, really fun to be able to shoot a, a, a segment with uh, my, one of my best friends and, uh, and to see him, you know, bounce back from, you know, uprooting his whole life in Venezuela to what he is, like, rebuilding his whole thing in Vancouver now. Um, and I just can't wait to see him succeed in what he does now. Cool. See you later. So where are we and what are we doing today? Today we are shooting another episode of Secret Sauce at Nook, 
one of Vancouver's top Italian restaurants. Uh, it's one of, it's actually also one of my favorite Italian restaurants. So what are we expecting today? I don't know, it's just some good chats and talk about how they are super popular. They have like four locations in Vancouver and I talked about some of their finances. I know about some of their finances and it's just mind blowing about how successful they are. Uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. Oh yeah, the signature transition. just finished shooting with Mike, the owner of Nuke. Uh, the interview went so much better than I expected because Mike has been so generous in sharing a lot of numbers behind uh, with us. He made the whole process super simple because he's just so generous with his information. There's no hold back, no nothing. And a lot of people within the industry, especially owners, these are like their competitive advantage. These are things that are like secret, they're secret sauce. And uh, not a lot of people are willing to share with it, like how much you guys make, revenue, rent. Uh, yeah, because remember in 2019, we had the video about the top five most profitable restaurants, businesses, Hasta was one of them. There you right? go. So like just like two year, a year and a half ago, we shared this uh, video, this one, or this one right here, top five most profitable restaurants. And it has over 400,000 views, and it really is exactly what we preach about: is pasta and pizza. So beautiful. I'm gonna end it. End it. Boom. Hey, hello there. Hello friends, today I'm bringing you behind the scenes to Bami Trey Bon. This is actually two minutes away from my home, so I always go here. Really want to kind of show you guys behind the scenes because these guys have been smashing success ever since they have been open. And I've always wondered why they have a lineup of their door all the time because these are not really authentic, authentic Vietnamese food. Well, at least not in my eyes. I feel like the authentic Vietnamese food needs to be down and dirty, full of MSG. That's the like legit way. But actually, you know, uh, speaking to Lan, she was telling me that, you know what, that is not the legit way. I would want to create food and serve food that I would serve my family. I'll see you guys later on. Boom. Okay, so what did we just do? We just had an interview with Lan and it was such a great interview because I've known Lan for over two, three years and ever since they first opened, I, I have been here and to learn more about her story, her origins and, and really her true passion in, in this business and her passion with treating and empowering younger generation and talent is something that is really truly inspiring for me. It kind of really touched me because that's something that I truly believe in as well. Uh, I truly truly believe in being able to empower the next generation because when I first started I never had that opportunity which is why I am a, such a big advocate of that and for me to be able to see Lan do that and do it in such great fashion is something that I'm just blown away by and just like I see her as my inspiration so cool. cool. See you guys in the next episode. Boom! Where are we, man? Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of Secret Sauce. Today, we have the honor of interviewing a great friend of mine, Amili, in this beautiful, beautiful Vietnamese restaurant. Once again, it's Vietnamese, but this time is very, very different because they really was able to kind of blend the traditional Vietnamese cuisine with the like 
Western culture. And like the design here, it's like an art museum. So I'm like super, super stoked. Actually, one of the reasons why and how Amelie and I met was because of how much I appreciated the aesthetics of this restaurant. Uh, I still remember me and Kelly, we were visiting this place. We had an amazing lunch when they first opened. And I can't help but to actually just be amazed by the decor. Um, and we started connecting and we started to actually become friends so it's really really cool to be able to have this full circle to come back to interview the secret sauce behind their success because ever since they've been open it's been what four or five years now and they have been like having lineups out the doors every single day so no are you ready i'm so ready and pumped i'm gonna see you guys after the interview boom So here we are, we are finally finished with the interview. It's really, really inspiring because as Vincent was sharing with me is that he didn't really care how much he invested into the business because he knows he's gonna be here for the next 10, 20 years. And that type of commitment is truly what is necessary for any type of success, is that you're going all in. You know it's gonna take a lot of years, it's gonna take time to build and time to actually make this place good. Right? And that's really what is inspiring for me is that commitment to the craft because nowadays I feel like that's lost in a lot of people because they're looking at the short-term gains, they're looking at the, the short-term satisfaction of, of making money, but then they don't really invest the time to let everything play out and that is a really big lesson for me. Boom! Today we are at Juice, one of the best fried chicken places in Vancouver. Um, they're actually, their recipe is trademark, gluten-free and non-GMO, which makes it super popular for the more health-cautious uh, demographic. The really interesting thing about this place is that they coupled it with a very unique cocktail experience, which is why I thought this was a really great idea because the location of Juke Fried Kitchen is at the best cocktail street walk in the country. So also another thing is that they are located in Prime Estate in downtown Vancouver. As you know, they're just going in and out, in and out, and it's only 11 a.m. So super excited. Uh, we're gonna go interview Justin right away and uh, see you soon. Watch me have 10 NGs saying Jukes. So we get to go behind the scenes to check out their uh, famous fried chicken. Yeah, you can start kind of ready. I'll probably ready you guys kind of walk through this one. Uh, so Clay. So back to our session. Yes, uh, I was telling Julia I wasn't feeling too good. Not that there's it's nothing going on. It's just that I had a bad sleep. And uh, yeah, so then I was telling Julia that, yo, I don't think I can perform that well today. And what do you know? Why don't you get some sugar in there? Yeah, I, I need some rice. <laughs> I don't know. Like I need something like, like solid to be able to Mm. Yeah, I need carbs. Exactly, I need carbs. It's not too bad. But it's just, I'm like, ugh. And then when we were, we usually shoot the intro first, right? Yeah. And we didn't get to shoot the intro because it was too loud outside and we had to like change locations. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and everything didn't seem to be too, too right. Mm -hmm. But it's just, kind of, I'm just kind of jinxing. I'm, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. You, you know those moments when you're like, ooh, today will not be a good day or ooh, this would be a tough one today. And then everything, you, you kind of manifest that out, as in like, just doesn't, yeah, I'm not even, 
putting my words together properly. Anyways, today will be a good interview. I will share more with you. It will be a good day. It will be a good day. Jason, today is an amazing day. Is that right? Yeah. Have fun. Oh, yeah. Good day. A good day. A good day. I did. Beautiful. Not you, Josh. You tell Josh. That's what we were doing. Oh, beautiful. We, we just came in, right? So that thing's a good step, but we need to like, get it all pretty up, and then after that, yeah. So there you go, friends. The secret sauce behind Okay, what did we just finish? So there you guys go. We just finished interviewing with Justin and it was a great interview. It was a great interview because I got to learn more about his stories, his philosophy to always innovate. You know what? It's actually really impressive because to always innovate and create dishes is a really, really big job and overhaul all the time because to come up with a menu that works, that not only people love but also the cost and also the operations it's an it's a really big deal because once you figure something out you need to tell your whole line of cooks and then on top of that you need to have buy your ingredients you need to restock everything recalculate everything so it's really really impressive and they opened during covid as well exactly the fact that he was able to open this restaurant in the midst of covid is insane and the fact that he was having line up out the doors even during covid and the spread, the food, it is amazing. Guys, you have to see it. I, you know what? Show them some B-roll. Show them some B-roll of how great Let's the food is. Let's go eat. 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 Boom. Julie, go. Julie, go. 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 No, no, come back. We want you to be here. No, hey, guys, today we are at Straight and Marrow. This place is so unique because they cook beef heart, lamb street bread, pig gear bone marrow so like all these ingredients that are often overlooked and uh, I got to meet with Chris uh, a few weeks ago and it's actually really great food not only does he really focus on unique ingredients but also master cocktail master right here bartender Chad so um, Chad is amazing with his cocktail so like, that's what his really big focus is no let's get into it yeah let's go let's get into it boom Jace. Good, that was good. He's a natural. All right. Beautiful. Don't tell him that. Okay, got it. Redo. It's a retake. Jason. Where were we again? Wow. What did we just finish? I was we wondering like why why was I hearing you but not in my ears? Jason, Jason, Jason. This is like my biggest fear is whenever we shoot stuff and videos is that Jason forgets his or messes up the uh what mic? Uh, hey, this time I remembered we're only one minute in. I like that because right. last time we forgot, which was very early in our shooting career. Uh, it was like what eight videos that didn't yeah, have good sound. Yeah, we shot eight sound. videos, and then there was no sound at the end. And it was so sad. It was so sad because it's so difficult to shoot videos when you're not good at it, and it's like it takes a lot of effort. I wasn't mad at Jason. I thought I was gonna get fired. Actually. I just kind of. It was like my first weekend. Yeah. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> no, no. But anyways, yes. Today's uh, interview went really well because um, Chris, Chris is a true chef, and he's a true restaurateur. Like you can see it in his eyes, you can see it with the way he talks, the way that he treats his customers and the way that he treats his food. Like he's not only a chef that enjoys cooking food, but also enjoys bringing the food to his customers. And, um, and that's what he lives and breathes. So it's like, it's really inspiring to be able to see him 
do exactly that and his spirit his spirit is just so there like he opened this restaurant at, like in the midst of covid and he was still able to kind of push through and without any scare whatsoever so it's something that is very admirable for me um yeah so i think it's really cool that we're doing we're showing the people the secret sauce of different concepts exactly different concepts from different walks of life and different people and that's the most important thing that whether you are a chef or that you just have a dream to create something that you want to be able to serve other people it is okay and there's still different ways of coming into this industry and really um succeeding in it really like it's it's really just having that passion is, is really what it takes yeah so where are we headed next we are heading to fergie fergie next guys boom cheers The cat's always fucking around. Hey, no swearing. Hey, should we turn it behind? Is this good? It's good, we're in the outdoors. Alright, let's go then. Okay. Where are we at? Today we are at Fergie's in... Okay, wait a second. <clears throat> Today we are bringing you to Fergie's, an hour away from downtown Vancouver, in the middle of Squamish. This is truly a hidden gem because, honestly, when I was first here, I was a little bit worried. When Cass brought me here, I'm like, where are we going? We're driving like 10 minutes away from the highway in the middle of nowhere. It's a little bit concerned, but when I got here, I was kind of kind of blown away, but not really. I wasn't too impressed, to be honest with you, because I had to wait for an hour before we get our seats. And we're like, should we come? Should we stay? Should we go? We ended up staying and the food just blew us away. Like, I wouldn't expect this kind of food to be in here, in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, so I was super, super excited to be able to feature Jess and Jake. They're amazing and actually truly authentic founders of this restaurant and this resort. So I'm super excited to interview them to see uh, and check out what their secret sauce is and, and how they can actually make this work in the middle of Squamish. Anyways, let's go right into the interview. Boom. What's happening? We're stuck. We don't want to be in the frame right now. And, um... <laughs> okay. We're really far away. Oh, I know. How the hell did it go so far? Okay, so we just finished. We just finished and it was really, really cool to actually hear all these crazy stories about, you know, this tree and this place being burnt down to the investment that this place took to build this. $1.7 million. That's crazy. The amount of faith that they have in their restaurant business and I guess like the passion that Jess and Jake has and the detail oriented, like even these tiles that they cut is all planned out and even the tiles in the washroom everything is meticulously designed to show up and to wow you away so it definitely is a one-of-a-kind gem in squamish if you guys haven't checked it out you have to check it out because it is that good i have the pleasure to share this place with you i really hope that you guys can feel the excitement the food everything that is so great about this place definitely check them out cool Oh. 
Secret sauce, guys. Do you know what's in this? It's nothing yet. <laughs> yes, yes. But we got some really good shrimp pasta from Food to Go from Joyce, courtesy of Joyce. And we got some secret sauce. And we got a bottle of wine for our very important guests and media people and PR and just friends and family. So then that way everyone can enjoy the meal at the comfort of their own home while watching the prequel of The Secret Sauce. So that's that, we gotta get to work. I'll see you soon. Do you have any last minute questions, Jason? No? Okay, bye-bye. Biggest newbie mistake. I was too excited earlier when uh, we were loading up Jason and Julie's car, and then I realized that I did not bring enough boxes. Now I delivered my first box, and now I'm just going back to the office to pick up more boxes. And it is really, really silly on my part, but it's okay because, yeah, anyways. Hi, Ty. Hello there, Mr. Hello, Ella. Wow. Wow. Enjoy. Here you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. There you go, guys. Behind this. No, that was really weird. There you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Our team enjoyed it a lot. I just want to give a major, major shout out to all of our restaurant partners because without them, the show would not be here. And on top of that, our beautiful, talented videographer, Lex and Josh Photography. Without them, you would not be able to see such a high production value. So major shout out to them. And also all our sponsors, our sponsors and the PR companies that are basically in support of this whole organization. And also the influencers, the influencers that made this show happen. They shared the word with the public in this mission to fight food insecurity. And of course, major shout out to our internal team, Jason, Julie, Brian, and Spencer and everyone involved. So major, major shout out to you guys. I had a ton of fun doing this and we are already thinking about season two. So in the link below, let us know your feedback on how we can improve season two. What would you like to see? Which restaurants do you want us to feature? Which restaurants do you wanna know and have us open up the curtains to see behind the scenes. Let us know in the link below. Let us know how we can do better for you guys because this show is created for you. Super excited to come back for another season of Secret Sauce episode one. I'll see you guys soon.